Last year, the Duke of Sussex left the UK with his wife Meghan Markle in order to pursue a life of privacy and newfound freedom. For decades he had become a fixture of the media and public's attention, regularly making headlines and front pages. There was a brief interlude following the death of his mother Diana, Princess of Wales where he and his brother, Prince William, were left alone. It enabled the boys to achieve a relatively unbothered few years in education, but things soon changed. As the pair entered adulthood, the intensity of the coverage resumed, and Harry and William William once again found themselves the subject of newspaper stories. However, Harry appeared to be featured more regularly than in 2004. Harry met the Zimbabwean native Chelsea Davy while she was a boarder at Stowe School. Their relationship would follow an on-off course until finally ending in 2011. Chelsea was subject to intense media scrutiny while she was dating Harry, something that was explored during the BBC's new two-part series, The Princes and the Press. The program's presenter, Amal Rajan, sat down with a private investigator, Gavin Burrows, who claims he was previously employed by the now-defunct News of the World newspaper to delve into Harry's personal life, including his chapter with Chelsea. Asked why he was so interested in Harry's life, Mr. Burrows claimed, well, it's not a case of me being interested, it was a case of the editors making it very clear that you put Prince William on the front of the newspaper and he doesn't sell as many copies as Prince Harry. So Harry had become, as explained to me by a couple of editors, the new Diana. They were much more interested in Harry than, he didn't really get up to much, he didn't do much, he wasn't much of a subject for a tabloid newspaper, there was nothing there until he met Kate. Mr. Rajan asked whether Harry's relationship with Chelsea opened up a new lucrative avenue, to which Mr. Burroughs replied, very much so. The broadcaster then asked whether Chelsea's life became an object of obsession for the investigators and their employer. In his reply, Mr. Burroughs claimed, yes, medical records, had she had an abortion, sexual diseases, ex-boyfriends, vet them, check them, education. A witness in ongoing legal cases against the News of the World and The Sun, Mr. Burroughs claimed phone hacking was used to obtain information about Chelsea. His claims are yet to be tested in court and are strongly disputed. Asked what he would say to Ms. Davy if she were in front of him then and there, he said, Oh, that I'm very sorry, because my actions were ruthless, and I'm not making excuses, but they were ruthless because I was greedy and because I was into my cocaine and I was living in a fake state of grandeur. He continued, the media was ruthless. They absolutely have got no moral. Chelsea ultimately announced her split with Harry in a face. Despite their turbulent relationship, many have noted that the pair enjoyed many happy years and remained friends after, with Chelsea even going to his wedding to Kate. Speaking during the 2011 documentary, William and Kate into the future, royal author Richard Kay noted that Chelsea was Harry's real love match. Explaining that theirs appeared to be a relationship of passion, Mr. K said, it's a real love match, there's no doubt about it. There's great passion between the two of them when they're together. The tension is visible, there's electricity, there's sparks flying everywhere. You can tell, though, they have a very volatile relationship, tremendous shouting matches, screaming rows, but then they get back together again. I would say that of all the royal romances currently going on, theirs was the real true thing, it's the real deal. After the split, Chelsea admitted to the struggles she felt with the pressure of dating a royal. She soon headed back to Zimbabwe, talking to the Daily Mail about their relationship in 2016, she said, it was so full on, crazy and scary and uncomfortable. I found it very difficult when it was bad. I couldn't cope. I was trying to be a normal kid and it was horrible.